Okay, so here's our plane again. Here, we're going to export it now. We're going to get it set up to put out. Uh, obviously, the more time put into this is better. Color isn't as important because a lot of times we're going to use these maps to overlay on top of other materials so they are almost transparent. But in case you want them, you can put more time and color into them. Um, but what we need to do is export it in two ways. One, so we can see what we're doing in Max, and that's part of what the alpha was for. And the other, uh, so we can have it used in the engine we're going to use. In this case, HDRP or URP. Um, and HDRP is uh, the HD render pipeline for Unity, and which is very close to the Unreal pipeline. Um, and then there's URP, which is the universal render pipeline, which is a little bit less powerful, but and it has some things that are, are a little bit different. It's actually closer and easier to get what we need out of inside of Max with that one. Um, so we're going to render that one for now, but just remember when we come back in here at some point, just render the final version of what we want um, for the engine, because what we're rendering out of here for right now is just to get everything set up in Max and looking right and the geometry and, and the planes and the, the decals. But then when we come back to look at it inside of Unity, we're going to want to export it again with the uh, with the proper map types. Because in Unity, it's super easy to get the decals working if you have everything else set up. So we're going to get it all set up in Max. The geometry is the important part in the unwrapping and where the mapping is. But uh, first we need to get it so we can see it easily in Max. So we've done that partially with getting our uh, alpha out of the uh, color map. The other last thing we're going to do is the URP export. So if you want, you can make custom ones, and I have a video on making custom exports. But in this case, we're just going to export the textures, have everything the way we want it. It's one texture, um, one trim sheet, and then we're going to come to, um, yeah, this is fine. And we're going to change it to a targa. Um, the reason we're changing it to a targa is because a targa is easier to get the alpha out of. And in Max, it wants the uh, roughness and metal separate. And when you're using it in engine, it's compressed into one texture. So we need to have them separate, and we're just going to do a real quick fix inside of Ma uh, Photoshop, and then we'll be able to use it in Max. So we're going to go to here and say we want the universal render pipeline. And if you look what it out outputs, it puts out an output albedo transparency, it puts out a metallic smoothness, and the smoothness being uh, Unity's version of a roughness map. Um, it's actually invert a roughness map and you get a smoothness map. Uh, and this will be the alpha, and then the normal, and then any emission in case we had one. Um, and then we just make sure it's going to the right place, make sure it's the resolution we want, and we export. And you can see the uh, emission didn't do anything because there's no emissive textures on here. So I'm going to go into to, um, Photoshop back to where we just did our alpha and I'm going to open up the trim texture we just made really the only one I care about though if I want I can bring both of these in but the really the one I care about is this one and I'm going to open it up like this and oops sorry I'm going to open it up I'm going to come to the alpha channel which is my smoothest map or roughness map actually a roughness map is this Max, for weird ways, actually uses roughness maps um, the same way that Unity uses smoothness maps. It's a weird dynamic between the programs we have to jump in and out of. Anyway, all I need to do is come to the alpha map by going to the channels, go to the alpha map, select all, control C for copy, go to control N for new, and you can do this in, in you know any program that can handle uh, alpha channels and separating them out and paste. And I have a new texture. It's all gray. It doesn't matter if I have a black and white. I don't need the alpha for this one. Again, this is just for setting it up inside of Max. Alt and then I'll save it. And usually when I save for a ping in this case, I'm not going to have an alpha, so it's fine. I will just save the ping um, inside of the web version because it has a lot less information and they end up being tiny bit smaller. So I will call this trim alpha, which is the one we just did. And then we'll call this Let's do trim um, smoothness because I didn't change it. If something's wrong and we go into max and it looks like it needs to be changed, we just come back in here, invert it, save it again, and bam, we're fixed. Okay, so I say save and say that's that. And I don't need to do anything to this one. This one's fine. Uh, just get out of the alpha here, turn that off. 
this one is what I'm going to use for my metal. And that's it. There's not a lot to do. I mean, it is another program real quick you got to set it out for. And to be fair, if you really wanted to, and if you don't have Photoshop, or you don't have that. Photoshop is kind of needed for the alpha, but for the other stuff, all you need to do is come in here to export, go over to output templates, find the uh, U, uh, universal render pipeline, which is like this one, and then uh, duplicate it. So you're gonna say duplicate, so it's a copy. You come down to the copied version, and usually I name my copies um, Q now. Um, and then you just have to look here and you'll see that this is one map, this is one map, this is one map, the normal, this is the smooth, this metallic, so forth and so on. All you have to do is you can leave these coming out if you want, or you can get rid of them since we don't need the smooth, this is metallic, but then you have to remake it. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just do a gray map and we'll come over here and call this. Um, we'll just, what I actually do is I copy this stuff which is the naming. This is the mesh name, this is the texture name. I usually only use the texture name, so we'll just do it that way. And I'll take off metallic, like that. And you'll look here, and it says metallic and smoothness. RGB is the metallic, and then the smoothness is the alpha. And if we look over here, it's glossiness, okay? So Max uses glossiness. So all we have to do is find that same material to use in here, drag it over on top of this gray, and say from the gray channel. And now we're going to export another material, uh, another texture that's just going to be the gray. So hold on, I will change it here. And there it is. And then if we look over here, there's the one I want. So if I say export, it should have overwritten everything else we had. And then if I open up this new texture, As long as I saved it in the right place. That's the TGA, yeah. There it is, smoothness. And that's it. And you can see that the old one we just made was this one. So it's a little bit tanner. It's actually a little bit better in some ways. But anyway, or lighter. Um, so anyway, that's how we're gonna do it. And that's all you need to do to get those textures out just to see it in Max. And we'll see you in the next video where we put it together and, and cut up our trim sheet for use uh, in the next part of the building a trim sheet.